Hey guys, so you join me out in the Austin. Uh, it's a bit chilly today, so it's quite nice to be doing a video inside the car and not outside the car. So what I thought we'd do is uh, give you a run through of how to start a car with a manual choke. And I think when you get into classic cars, um, I think it can be a bit of a dark art really on uh, how to use the choke, especially if you're not familiar with them. Now we're in winter, um, you know, we've got really cold mornings when I'm taking the car out. Uh, in sort of minus two minus three cold spells uh, it really helps to understand what you're doing so let's get into it so the first thing i've done is i've got the keys in the ignition ready to go uh, what i'm going to do now is depress the accelerator so right to the floor and what that's going to do is pull the accelerator cable you find is there's a rub point where you have uh, the choke and you have the accelerator kind of meeting and on mine if you don't put the accelerator in uh, there's a there's a rub and there's quite a lot of friction so accelerate it down uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull the choke lever right the way out so fully out as far as it will go if you find it's quite stiff it might just mean that your cable needs a bit of lubrication uh, and i can show you the cable under the bonnet in a minute so i'm going to let my foot off the accelerator now so we've got the choke pulled nice and firmly out uh, and then we're going to switch the ignition on so ignition's on Hopefully you're picking up that ticking noise. So the ticking noise is the fuel pump starting to push the fuel through into the carburetor. So with our choke still fully out, that ticking's gone down to a nice slow tick now. We're gonna turn the key and hopefully the car will fire. The car's not been started for a few days, so we'll see what happens. And there we go. So the car's running now, it's on full choke. What I'm gonna do is because it's not really, really cold, I'm going to slowly ease that in to a fast idle, so just before the point of where the car will um, go to normal tick over is the fast idle, so it's really lumpy at the minute, slowly going in. And hopefully you can hear now, it's just idling quite quickly. Um, and that's kind of what we want at the moment because it's slightly cold outside. Sounds pretty good. And that'll just tick over then. I'll let it warm up slightly, let the water temperature come up, let the oil temperature come up. Um, and yeah, we're good to go. So here's that rub point I was talking about. So if you see here, this is the accelerator cable coming in. So if I just push this, you can see when you depress the accelerator pedal inside, it gives us that gap. This here is what's controlling the jet. And this is the cable coming in from the, uh, the choke. So when you pull this cable tight, the choke pushes out and it pulls the jet down on the carb. So getting more fuel through uh, into the system. So what I'm doing when I'm pressing that accelerator inside is opening this gap, which then means this piece here, when you pull the choke, can move without friction. Well, that's the end of today's video, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Next videos up on the channel should be Liam's Road Star Will refurb for his MG Midget. Uh, and then next weekend, we've got a trip to the Peak District plan to get some cinematic shots of the cars, uh, hopefully some drone footage. Fingers crossed if the weather hangs out for us. But uh, hey, this is England, so we never know.